Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Oh shit. No, don't reload right now. Oh. Damn it. Okay, that didn't work so well. Welcome back, everybody, to the Outer Worlds. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are going to continue our playthrough here on the Supernova difficulty. Uh, so, uh, we have landed. That's our ship there. We've landed here on the Groundbreaker. And then uh, <clears throat> we talked to the wrong people, apparently, and they confiscated, or rather impounded, our ship. So we can't get uh, to the ship, Who wants um, to play an impromptu which is match? a problem, because no if we need to sleep in particular, we're not going to be able to. So hopefully that impound issue uh, doesn't last for too long of, uh, long of a period of time. Um, so we should probably work on getting that unimpounded as quickly as possible, maybe even before we work on uh, some of these other side quests. So let's kind of review here uh, what uh, what the quests are. Uh, so the Empty Man... Lo okay, so we got to find a security terminal uh, for Vicar Max because um, he wants to track down a scholar who might be able to help him with the interpretation of the journal from M. Bacano. Uh, solution Vial, talk to Dr. Wanda Dorset in the sick bay. Corporal Wheeler at Groundbreaker Customs asked you to update Dr. Stor Dorset in the sick bay. So that's something hopefully we can just do <clears throat> uh, when we run across her without necessarily going out of our way. Uh, these are science weapons that uh, are also side quests that we can acquire at some point. Uh, one of them is this shrink weapon that uh, Phineas has at his lab. And then, um, what's this other one? Groundbreaker scientists brag about powerful weapon researching. Perhaps details can be found. Hawthorne's logs mentioned looking at Gladys' shop for old records. Apparently, the smuggler acquired several leads. So, I don't know. This is probably a separate weapon than the one Phidias has, I'm guessing. I'm not really sure. But anyway, let's focus right now on, <clears throat> uh, on the main quest here uh, and see if we can get our ship unimpounded so we need to talk to this Udom Bedford and also speak to Gladys who's the black market person and we have to speak to her because Phineas wants her to contact her so that we can get to Stellar Bay I can't remember exactly why we need to get to Stellar Bay but it'll <clears throat> I'm sure it'll come come back to us so okay so that's Udom that way let's start working that direction and Gladys is over there now we do have an area here we could go into. Let's see if there's a couple. Oh, did we? We, we must have already come in here because that container's already open. All right, let's go ahead and head on in this direction. How's our inventory looking? Uh, oh no, that's <coughs> excuse me, that's by. I think I think we must have, oh we got a couple things we need to deal with. So yeah, let's sell uh that. Uh we'll sell the normal shotgun. We'll sell the cigarettes. And I th think we'll keep everything else for the moment. Do we have any junk? Uh a jeweled ring. So yeah, let's sell that too. Okay. Uh let's put our weapon away. Quest objective requires you to enter a restricted area. If caught inside, you will be shot on sight. Using a disguise will prevent immediate hostilities. This is it. Security. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew cha I mean, the scholar shipped in and out with. Oh, what's that all about? He said ch- ch- Okay, but how are you exactly are you going to do that without these guys noticing? Let's talk to him. I find myself marveling at the complex simplicity of the Fibonacci spiral. I'm sure you know what that's like. Complex Something simplicity? You, Captain? Um, let's talk about this uh, personal quest of yours. Yes, well, now that we're here, can we check in with security? I'd like to track down that scholar. Um, er, yeah, remind me why we want to do that. <laughs> if I can access the data cartridge from the terminal in security, I can easily hack into their arrivals and departure. Right, okay. 
But, I mean... That'll give us dates, times, and the crew manifests for every registered ship. I'll comb the last six months of departure manifest to track the Philosophist's off-world destination. Right, but the thing is... Thank you, Captain. The thing is, though, is... I mean... You can't just do that with these security guys watching. Can we go in here? I think he's talking about this one here, but what about... The, cor the Corporal? Uh, Alright, I'm a little confused. Here, let's take a look at our... Our thingamadoodle here. Locate the security terminal. The security terminal of Groundbreaker is a restricted area. Finding a, finding a Marnet ID cartridge will allow you to use the holographic shout Finney has told you about uh, to enter and avoid hostilities. So, did they, did they just mean getting into the terminal itself, or did, are we talking about an actual area? Move along. Move along. I up oh, he day. must be talking about this area. Here we go again. No one lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. You were hearing things. No, seriously. There was a lot of static at first, but then this voice said his name was Graham? Graham, right. Broadcasting on a dead world full of monsters. Now I've heard everything. Interesting. You know, it takes more muscles to frown than to smile. <laughs> Who told you that? Graham. Interesting. Okay. Asshole. <laughs> All right. So, I guess we need to snoop around and see if we can find a Mardet ID thingamadoodle like that one there, for example. We can just pick that up and nobody's going to care. I guess so. It's not showing red like stealing. You have found an ID cartridge to use with a holographic shout. You will now be automatically disguised when entering the associated restricted area. Okay. So... But we're not, like, supposed to just... We, we still have to be, you know, kind of inconspicuous when we do this. Restricted access. Okay, holographic disguise activated. Your holographic shroud, is, shroud has activated, giving you temporary access to this restricted area. Moving, moving drains the shroud's energy. When it runs out, personnel will see and interrogate you. Talk your way out of interrogation to reset your shroud. It will be harder to talk your way out the more you are interrogated. Uh, interesting. Okay, so since we're in here... Let's go ahead and actually make this the active quest so we know exactly where we're going. Okay, so we're just going back there. Oh, wow. Look at the... Okay, look at the progress bar thing down below. It goes down as we move. All right. So, whoop. Here, let's just go around a corner here. We don't want these people to be looking directly at us, so let's just go this way. We're just a normal security person just walking through here, minding our own business. Moving along, nothing to see here, that sort of thing. Uh, oh, the terminal's on that other side. Okay. We have got some stuff in here. And... Uh, what is that? A steel... Oh, no, that's a plasma rifle. Wouldn't mind grabbing that ammo, but... Is stealing going to... Make the shroud go down quicker? No, nope, it doesn't. Okay. So as long as nobody's looking at us... Um... Let's just grab all this stuff. Another Marquette ID cartridge. Well, that was that was some nice loot. <laughs> we got a lot of we got a lot of stuff out of that deal. All right. Um, so the problem that we're going to run into now is we're going to run out of shroud. Oh, that's another room. What the hell is that thing? It's a hoop. That guy's coming this way. Uh-oh. Our shroud ran out. That's not good. So apparently that's like another room. So how the hell do we get in there? Let's wait for this guy to go... ...back the other way. Is there any way to 
recharge the shroud. It's a good thing they don't care about Vicar Max just standing right there. Okay, so let's see. Can we... Can I ha tell him to do that? Um... No. Sure. Because he's supposed to be like the expert hacker guy. Alright, we're in a bit of a pickle here, I think. So how the hell the hell do we get the shroud to... Is there any way to get it to recharge? Holographic sh shroud. Restricts the disguise on you. Companions gives you access to restricted areas. Provide you have the correct ID cartridge for the area. Restricted areas are off limits to unauthorized personnel and otherwise result in being attacked on sight. That doesn't... Um... Restricted areas shot. You need to fight, sneak, or use a holographic shroud to get through restricted areas. Postmortem fines will be paid by the closest living relative. Yeah, right. Yeah, it doesn't really tell us um, if this can be recharged, so I'm starting to think it can't. So we're kind of not in good shape here. And how would I? How do I get him to do that lock thing? Because, I mean, the Z key tells him to go somewhere, and X key tells him to attack. But uh, pressing that doesn't do anything. Hmm. Well, this is not good. I'm just going to throw that out there. This is not good. Kind of in a bad spot right now. Can we close this door? Does this door even close at all? Oh, shit. <laughs> I wonder if we could take this guy out. You know, like do a sneak attack without anybody else seeing us. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Oh, shit. No, don't reload right now. Oh, damn it. Okay, that didn't work so well. So, um, let's just continue from wherever the last save point was. Okay, so we're all the way back out here. I wonder if, um, I wonder if this is not the right way to get in there. This is it. Security. I can check the departures registry to find out which food chip. I mean, the Alright, let's grab that again. Is there any way to get around through over here? No, seriously. There was a lot of static at first. Okay, let's hork this stuff here. Graham? Graham, right. Broadcasting on a dip. Okay, so if we go back to here and make that active. The terminal is right there. I ha I have a feeling like we're we're supposed to find a different way in there because even you know even if we go into the security area, um, how do we get in that room? You see? Hmm. Yeah, we're not supposed to go up there. This door is barred. Can we get up this way? Excuse me, coming through. Yeah, I don't see anything up there anyway that would help us with that. So there was, there's that door there that's locked. It looks like there might be like a, a cell door. Let's try something else here. Uh, you know what the, the thing is, it's going to activate the shroud automatically. 
Uh, but I didn't really look around real closely in that other room, so let's do that next. We'll wait for this guy to pat back. Okay. Okay, here we go. Sealed. 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 And that's not... We're not able to deal with that. Hmm. And I'd like... I wish I could figure out how to get him to do it. I mean, I can tell him to go stand there. Sure. But I can't tell him to, like, open it. Oh, you know what? I think... I think if he's in our party... His hacking skills just automatically added to ours. Maybe that's what it is. But that's not giving us the option, though. Okay, well, let's go back out. Now, does that recharge? It does. Okay. Oh, is that guy going to go in there? No, he's just standing there. Oh, I wonder if we're supposed to, like, maybe knock him out or something. I don't think there's any pickpocketing in the game. Wait, what am I... No, duh, that's Max. <laughs> I'm like, go... Be right there. Never mind. Pay no attention to that old guy uh, behind the curtain. He doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. <laughs> that was funny. Ah, uh, well... Okay, let's, um, let's do this. There's a bunch of shit we can steal back here, so at least let's do that. Because we can take all this and nobody will see it. Don't see anything else. Oh, yeah, the two shunts. Wait for that guy to go back the other way. Then we'll take the stuff over here and hopefully we can get back out before the shroud wears off. Okay, so we'll take all this. Prayer beads. I don't think those guys are looking. Is that guy going to come back over here? Oh, shit. Do, 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 do. This is a nice corner we're checking out here. All right. I think we've pressed our luck enough. Let's get the hell out of here. Is there something here we could grab that would get us in that room? Okay. All right. Well, I'm not. I'm not sure what to do there. So, I guess. Uh, I guess we'll come back to that later. Let's sell all of our junk. And we horked a couple things. Impact hammer. Um. Oh yeah. Sell. That's a bolter pistol. But I don't think we need that because we got the plasma gun. So let's sell that. We'll sell the hammer. We'll sell that. Sell that and that. Do we have... Oh, yeah, right. We got that other plasma rifle. Uh... Yeah, let's hang on to that for the moment. Okay, well, I can't figure that out right now. I'm not sure what to do. So let's just uh, get back to the main quest for now, and then we'll maybe we'll that will become apparent to us later on. So let's see. That's Udom. Let's go check with him first. Why not be distracted by the glare of the adverts? Lots of unsavory types about. The glare of the adverts. Interesting. Uh, okay, let's go this way. Oh, this is kind of cool. It's like a little promenade in here. Yeah, about 
pancakes. <laughs> Spacer's Choice. Just about tired of hearing about Spacer's Choice. The Lost Hope. Oh, that must be like a bar. Bell Everson. Are you like a weapons dealer? Bell's Shells. You know that sound when you've snapped on an injector clip? <sighs> That's how you know your weapon loves you back. She must I like her guns. I've got a full line of weapon modifications I'd be happy to show you. Do you now? Let me see what you got. Well, she doesn't just have modifications. She's got actual weapons. Oh, grenade launcher. Oh, we don't have very much money. What's this? A Deadeye Assault Rifle. Oh. I want one. Hammersmith originally tried to sell this gun with the slogan Sniper's Choice, but they were sued by a company that they were legally not allowed to identify. I wonder why they call that an assault rifle. That seems like it's a sniper rifle. Well, we'll have to be on the lookout for one of those, for sure. Oh, that's expensive, though, man. Damn. I think we have all these other mods. Oh, Whisper. Oh, look at that. A silencer. Oh, man. That would be nice to have, too. I haven't... I never. We never saw any of those, at least that I was aware of, uh, when we were on Terra 2. Cool. All right. Well, um, that's good stuff. We'll keep all that in mind. I wonder if there was some way we could... Ex pardon me, excuse me. I wonder if there's some way we could distract her and then lift that. She does kind of look <laughs> behind the thing, huh? Oh, man, there's so much stuff to steal here. I wonder if she goes on break or anything. could steal out of her cash register too if this yahoo would take off i just i'm just curious if uh if we just tried to lift that <laughs> right from behind her she's got to see that though the, the game the devs probably put that there just to uh Hmm. Um, anyway, I wonder if the devs put it there just to tempt me to take it so I'd get caught. All right, well, I'm sure we will come across one of those soon. Um, let's not take a chance of doing that right now. Okay, so let's see. I guess we go this way. Yeah, this is really cool, man. It's like a... Oh, neat. That's cool. Sublight, salvage, and shipping. Medical bay. Okay, Gladys is in the medical bay. Another ad drone. All right, well let's let's get focused here. I'm getting too distracted. Go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastards. Whoa. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are board property. Disperse now, or I'll detain you for trespassing. Oh, real scary. You're really gonna arrest us on our station? Yeah, this is Chief June Lee's ship. You don't own shit here. Step back. I'm required by board bylaws to use excessive force. <laughs> I'm required to use excessive death force? would space you for trying, you... You waste of O2 scrubbers. Yeah, O2 scrubbers. <laughs> Look, just get out of here before I tell your captain what you've been getting up to on the clock. Ah, whatever. We got a date at the Lost Hope anyway. Is this really what you want to be doing with your life, Marcy? Guarding stairs for that walking mustache oot on fucking bedroom? <laughs> I gotta get off this detail. Huh? Something about being in space gives me the creeps. Really now? Anything back here? Okay. Alright, let's go on inside. Ah, the board. Organized, efficient, competent. Well, mostly. Advertisement for the following story. The board would like to remind spacers and other travelers that passage to Monarch is restricted for your protection. K 
Canyons of acid and sulfur rain are the least of the horrors plaguing the surface. Canyons of acid? Anarchists live as one with the animals, lawless, savage, and unemployed. <laughs> unemployed. The board's embargo ensures that nothing can leave the planet and threaten our hardworking citizens. You've been listening to Halcyon News, your mandated duty as a good citizen of Halcyon. All right. Interesting. Uh, all right. Let's talk to this guy. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Oh, we guys were friends? Um, I'm going to ring your scrawny neck, you sprat fuck. No, that's probably not a wise thing to say to him. Alex isn't important. I'm here to turn in Phineas Wells. I'm not dealing with this right now. Forget Alex. Why'd you? Uh, let's let's play this. Let's play this cool. Let's play this cool. Alex is dead. Oh no! This is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Oh my God! He really liked him. <laughs> um. I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. Hmm, I wonder if they were, like, more than just friends. What was your relationship with him? Uh, yeah, what was your relationship with him? He was my dearest friend. My only friend. Oh, that sucks. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Um... Well... I didn't notice, but let's, uh, let's just, <laughs> uh, let's just be honest. I really wouldn't know. I'm sorry. It must have been lost with Alex then. Yep. Must have. One more tragedy to top the pile. Tell me. How oh, did he die? he's not going to like this. Um, he was elite, eaten alive by feral cannons. He died in an escape pod accident. That's the truth. Trust me, you don't want to know the details. <laughs> uh, he died in an escape pod accident. Oh, awful business that. But why? How? No, no. Best yeah, not to ask. Yeah, don't ask. <laughs> don't ask. Uh, again, I'm very sorry. Can we get back to the topic at hand? Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the See, flag from the ship. that worked out pretty good. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, Oh, of course, now go, he wants something from us. Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? Alex did not say anything at all to me about <laughs> where Wells is. Uh, why do you think... I know where to find... Alex never mentioned Phineas Wells. You know what, though? Why is the board so interested in Wells anyway? You haven't read the posters. He's uh, a terrorist, a thief, a madman. It's really in the colony's best interest that we stop him before he does further terrorist. harm. terrorist. Okay, now we are talking... I'm not going to tell him this, but we are talking about the guy that freed me. Um... Well, let's tell the truth. Alex never mentioned anything to us about Phineas Wells. That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Law, oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. So the board wants you oh, to catch him. I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? Um, what's this about the board having your head? I know where to find him. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Why, why are they going to have your head? I mean, I think I can guess, but... It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. Okay. Um... Stop playing Coy Bedford. Is there anything I can do to help? Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. It's... Well, it's my white whale, I suppose. Hmm, okay. Little Moby Dick there. Uh, I can't tell you where Wells is. Well, I, I guess I really don't know exactly where he is. It's fine. Really, it's perfectly fine. I understand. Now, if you've nothing else, please see yourself out. 
I'd like to drown myself in work. Um, I wanted to ask you something else. Be my guest. What do you do here exactly? Can you set get me to Stellar Bay? Does it seem hot in here to you? Well, we know why it's hot. Well, we don't we know they're having a heat problem. I don't know exactly why they're having a heat problem. What are those locked doors behind the back? Um Can you get me to Stellar Bay? Good law. Who'd want to go to that toxic hell pit? Um because it's stellar? Uh so no. Oh, there goes the timer. No. Emphatically no. Unequivocally no. Immutably no. No would have done it. You didn't have to crack open a thesaurus. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's see if he tells us about the locked doors in the back. A luxury stateroom reserved for Chairman Rockwell's use. Oh. Does the chairman visit here often? Oh, good law, of course not. He'd never set foot on this decrepit junk pile. As this office is the primary embassy for the board on Groundbreaker, corporate bylaws specifically state a room must be maintained for the chairman's exclusive use. What a waste. Uh, all right, what do you do here exactly? I'm the certified representative of the board's interests here on the Groundbreaker. I'm their eyes, ears, and busy little hands. Busy little hands. Big fish and small station. Uh, small station. Station. Golly, I can't talk. I set up. That doesn't answer my question. Sometimes I take a break from sending messages to fluff the chairman's pillow on the off chance he visits. Oh, jeez. Okay. Does it seem hot? Yeah, why are there armed guards in here? Oh, you've noticed my friends. Wonderful. Aren't their guns very large? <laughs> Tremendously impressive. They're here to keep the peace, of course. Um, to watch your back, you mean? Precisely. Groundbreaker makes much ado about its independent status and so resents any board presence, no matter how benign. You keep calling officers on their prominent benign. One more thing. Uh, you keep, yeah, you call, oh, oh, I'm sorry. You call keeping officers on their prominent benign? When the alternative is board guards at their gates? Yes, I do. They don't see it that way, of course, but I can't say I much care. Hmm. Does it seem hot in here to you? <laughs> oh, law, but it's miserable. My underarms are damp. Oh, TMI. How can I be expected to work in these conditions? Don't need to hear about that. Chief Tennyson is supposedly looking into the cause, but I've seen no action from her. Deplorable conduct. My superiors will be hearing about it. You can be certain of that. Back to my other questions. Ask away. Um, all right, that's it. Okay, so, um, requires his passcode. Okay. All right, cool. So what does this tell us we need to do? Speak to Glad. Uh, okay, so we got our ship back. Good, good, good. That way we can go back and sleep and all that sort of thing and store stuff. Um, that was actually easier than I thought it was going to be. So, uh, I guess the next thing to do is to speak to Gladys on the Groundbreaker. However, we are out of time, guys. So, uh, we'll just pick up right where we left off. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Share out the video and leave a comment. Those things do help the channel. Do appreciate it. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.